Hey. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm here with Parker. What's up? So today's video is going to be a Q&A, but it's a little bit more interesting because it's going to be questions that we have never answered before. Mm. So the questions are going to be a little bit more personal and you guys are gonna get to know us a little bit better. Today's video is sponsored by Go90. They just came out with their second season of their show, Relationship Status. And the show is based all around dating in this new digital-based world full of social media. So it's super interesting. The episodes are pretty short, so we actually watched the entire first season in one day. It's a great show to binge watch. I'm gonna have the link down below. And if you guys haven't ever been on Go90 before, it is a streaming service with a really wide variety of different programs. So that is gonna be linked down below. Second season is officially out, so you guys can binge watch both seasons. And if you've already seen it, comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of it. Now we're gonna go ahead and get on into Ooh. the questions. Okay, so this first question had a lot of likes on it, so a lot of people want to know what is the particular reason or is there any particular reason that we choose to not drink alcohol? We've talked about this in our vlogs, neither of us drink. Yes, we have drinking, we have drinking, <laughs> we have drank one time, we were in the Bahamas, yeah, and we both ordered a strawberry daiquiri. We didn't like it, we just no. didn't like the taste. I think there's no health value at all like it adds no healthy anything. And I guess you could say the same thing about like eating a cupcake, but yeah. there's just, it, I just don't support that at all. I don't like drinking and I think it's really dumb. Do you have any other things to add? <laughs> I forgot that I wanted to let you answer first for all the questions because yeah. I always talk too much. With both of your careers being on YouTube, when were you financially stable enough on the money that you made just through YouTube? So I was working, I was making, I was making a pretty decent amount of money yeah. spraying pest control. She had the vlog channel as well, which was mm -hmm. hot vlog, before and she vlogged on it and stuff, but she wasn't very consistent. I was like filming for Aspen as well. So I was spraying and then I would, when I wasn't spraying, I would be at her house helping her film. Mm -hmm. And she was making some decent money and she was like, hey, why don't we start doing the vlog channel like a really consistently? And, and then I quit my job. I went and quit and said, I'm gonna go work with my girlfriend making these YouTube videos. So that's when we like felt comfortable to do it, but also we didn't have any bills or anything. Yeah, we, we were, were both, both living at yeah. home. We were not married yet. We were going to college though. We were going to school. Yeah. So that was like our only bills we had to pay. Yeah. So it was enough to like cover that and then it's just grown since then. So yeah. we've kind of been comfortable doing it together like since even before we got married. The next question is not that crazy but it says are you guys doing vlogmas and we are yes if you don't know we have a vlog channel that we talked about so we're gonna link that down below we're vlogging every day from december 1st to december 25th and we're also doing 25 days of giveaways so that's gonna be super fun make sure you guys go subscribe to our channel the next question says what is one thing that you regret doing as a teenager i don't think i regret anything to be honest but you have to pick one thing uh, one thing we kind of thought about these questions <sighs> and i couldn't really think of anything either Oh wait, yeah, I think that both of us just agreed that one thing we, we regret doing is just not like appreciating our families as much. Oh, okay. I yeah. feel like that's something that not all teenagers are like that, but I feel like a lot of teenagers yeah. are like, like that. Like all through high school, it was like, I was never worried about trying to make family time. Like I was always yeah. like, what are my friends doing? Let's go hang yeah. out with friends. And then you get older and you realize that your family is the most important. Yeah. How would you react if your kids got pregnant or got someone pregnant without being married? Obviously, I would support, like I would do whatever I could to help, but I would definitely be pretty disappointed in them yeah, and like... Especially, I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking this question is like high school age kid, not yeah, like if, if my 21 yeah. year old is dating yeah. someone and like gets pregnant or yeah, something. Yeah, that's different. But if they're like high school and like yeah. 16, 17, like I'm gonna do everything I can to help them and whatever they need, but I'm also gonna be like very disappointed. Really, yeah, I feel like I'd be so mad just cause it's so irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we would be so mad. I know. But we wouldn't be the type of parents that would like disown our kid. And, like, I no. Yeah, never. Next question, what do you think about divorce? I think in certain situations, divorce could be necessary, but I don't know. Yeah, Parker's I'm, parents are know. married. My parents yeah. are divorced. Like seeing how that works, I yeah. feel like I'm just grateful that divorce is a thing because as much as I would never want anybody to have to go through that, I feel like it's just such a good thing that you can yeah. if it's necessary because it gives you the chance to like move on and have yeah. like a different, better life. Because as much as you should like work for your relationship, sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah. I feel like there are some people who would who say like they would never get divorced. What if in 50 years, like we hated each other? 
Like, I'm not going to be that person that would be miserable forever just because I, like, don't believe in divorce. Oh, like, if okay. we both thought we would be happier, like, on our own. Yeah. Then if, I think if that there was a good. point in our relationship where we both felt that way, yeah. then yeah. But if I don't feel that way and you feel that way, then yeah. you're stuck with me. <laughs> the next question also got asked a million times and has a million likes. So a lot of you guys want to know, did we wait until marriage? Oh, that is a serious one. The answer is no, we didn't. <laughs> I don't regret not waiting until marriage, but something I'm glad that we did do is we were both graduated and out of high school. Like, I'm really glad that we didn't lose it to like random people when we yeah. were like 15 oh, yeah. or 16 or something. I'm glad that I knew that she was like the one. Yeah. Like, that's the only reason that it did happen. It's because <laughs> yeah. I knew she was the one. Yeah, we like thought that we would end up married. Next, Next question. question. When you guys are older and have kids, do you plan on having different jobs but also still doing YouTube? I wouldn't say plan on having different jobs but still just, doing YouTube. If YouTube them. is still a thing and we're still able to make money from it, then we're definitely going to be doing YouTube as yeah. our job. But maybe also have like other businesses on the side, yeah. like we have the store and stuff like that. But as long as YouTube is a thing that we can call our job, yeah, I'd and say we'll we take make it as enough a job. money. And especially if you were making enough or more money than you would be if you were working somewhere else. Yeah, definitely. But like when we have kids, that's one of my the things I'm looking forward to most about having kids is being able to like work from home and spend a lot of time with my kids and yeah. still have my career and have my job. I'll still have a space like at home that's my office that I would still like to be, be able to say that this time of day is work time and yeah. I'm in my office from like 9 to 5 or whatever it is. Yeah. But I can still come out and be like, hey. And like give yeah, my ki kids hugs and stuff but next question have you ever had any pregnancy scares no we have not i vlogged the other day about that i'm doing a video and i needed a fake oh i needed a real pregnancy test but like not a real one that i was taking i just needed it for the video yeah. so i vlogged about it that it was my first time ever buying one and so many people were like oh my gosh how have you never bought one before I like know. how have you never needed one we've just never thought that i like would be pregnant yeah next question is what are your biggest fears when it comes down to having children? I think that one of the biggest things that I think of is like having resp the responsibility for another human being for the next 20 years of your life. I think that mine is just having to, knowing that I'll have to like let go of control of everything. Yeah. Cause you just can't, like as much as you can have control over like, okay, we're gonna go to the store today. Like maybe you go and your kid. Oh yeah doesn't behave and you have to go home. I think stuff like that, cause I just like, I'm such like a type A plan oh, yeah. everything out type of person. But I'm at the same time is that like, that is something that I do think about all the time. And I'm like, that's gonna be so hard for me. I feel like it's gonna be like a good challenge. Oh, yeah. Even though I feel like it's gonna be one of the best I feel like it'll make you have. grow as a person. Yeah. Where would you want your first family vacation to be when you guys have kids? Oh. Um, I feel like it'll be somewhere. Maybe like, like the Bahamas. I, feel I know. Like we I, I feel like I wouldn't want to go like on a super long one first try, you know? Yeah. We'd want to go maybe on something like short. Maybe California. Ca well, that's a little too short. We gotta at least <laughs> go across the country to the Caribbean. Okay. And go to the Bahamas. I feel like when we have kids, we want to travel with them, and so oh, we yeah. want to start really early. Yeah. So that they can be used to being on planes and being in airports and traveling. So this is going to be our last question. And it says, why did you move home from California so fast? And why did Parker never go on his mission trip? Okay. So if you guys have been watching us for a long time, you probably know what this question is referring to. But if you're new, then you probably don't. So Parker and I started dating. I'm gonna link our like our story playlist down below. We did a story of like we how, did we, how met, we met, our, our first kiss. kiss. <gasps> I think Aww. we did something else. So we started dating in high school. And then when we graduated, Parker was planning on going on a church mission trip and I was planning on moving to California. And I moved there for like three weeks. I was planning on being there for a lot longer than that, obviously, but I moved there. I absolutely hated it. I was so out of like place and just so uncomfortable. And I had such like good friends there. I had my YouTube friends I've been friends with for years. So I had a good group of people out there that I loved and I'm still friends with them today, but it was just not where my heart was at, not where I wanted to be at all. So after like three weeks, I moved home. I moved home the day before the college semester started. This was like right going into my freshman year of college. Every day when I was driving to class at like 8 a.m., I was so happy to just be like in my hometown, driving to school. I do not regret moving home from California at all. I actually regret moving because I knew that it was just not where I wanted to be. And it costed me a lot of money to move there and move back. So. 
Yeah, I regret actually. Like, I never regret anything because I'm always glad that I tried stuff, but I do regret moving there. When everyone graduates high school, everyone understands this. You like, you have a few different options to choose from of what path you want to take in life. This church mission, it's not just, it's kind of like going out to do service, but it's not just a service trip. It was an LDS mission, if you guys know anything about those. They're two years long and you're assigned to go somewhere, like they pick where you go. It's, it can be in country, out of country, but it is pretty strict. There's a lot of rules and you don't get to have a phone. You don't get to really have a lot of communication. If he was going to go on that, that was like us breaking up. It wasn't like really a choice to do like long distance, I wasn't really interested in that if he was gonna go. I could have either gone to school, I could have started working, or I could have gone and lived somewhere else for two years, and I felt that I wanted to start going to school and start working, and stay here and continue to date Aspen as well. I feel like that's so weird that that time period even happened, because I literally, I mean, living in LA was so short to me that it just felt like a dream. A dream that cost me a lot of money. So it's so weird to think that that like actually really happened. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Like with where we're at in life now that like now we've been married for two years. We've like traveled the world together. Like we've done so much that I don't feel like neither of us feel like we have missed out on life because I, we didn't yeah. do those. I definitely feel decisions. like I made the cho the right choice. Yeah. If, in what path to choose. Those are all the questions that we have. I hope you guys got to know us a little bit better. Don't forget to check out Relationship Status on Go90. The link's down below. You guys can binge watch the first season, the second season, get your rom-com fix. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and also check out our vlog channel if you guys wanna see more videos of us together. And Parker also has a channel yes. that I will link down below. And I'm also gonna link my outfit down below. I think that's it, so I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you.